I mean, like, retail therapy is a thing. Hey girls, what's good? If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and today we are going to review all of my luxury purchases for 2020. Now, 2020 was not a huge year for me as far, it was a big year for me personally, but not really as far as luxury. I didn't really buy a lot of luxury items this year, but nonetheless, I was still able to expand my collection and I will start with luxury perfumes, you guys. This was like the year of building my luxury fragrance collection. If I could choose my top fragrances, I would have to say it would be the um, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. My most recent favorite is the Mon Guerlain. Um, and oof, I like Opium, but I would have to say the Gabrielle Chanel. Those are my top three fragrances this year. Now I already have the fragrances picked up that I know I for sure want next year. If you haven't seen my luxury wish list video, I will go ahead and link that up here. But yes, y'all, your girl's personal and professional life this year might have been in shambles, but she smells good, okay? All right, the next thing I got is the Petite Noe. So I did unboxes. I will, of course, be linking all of my unboxings and reviews of these items in the cards above and in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Um, but yes, I purchased this pre-love from Brand Bad Girl. I did a whole review, um, including a review on the Zumani organizer that I got for this bag as well. I haven't gotten to wear her at all this year, but I have a feeling girl. 2021, it's gonna be our year. Okay, so the next three items are all Chanel. I know, I lost my damn mind this year. The next luxury item I purchased is my Chanel Lambskin Classic Double Flap in the size small. I have done lots of videos on her already. This was big. I never thought that 2020 would be the year I would get her. Y'all, this was a very emotional year for me and this was very much so an emotional buy. Um, I remember when I pulled the trigger on this, I was in such a crazy mental state. I felt like, I don't know, I felt like I needed a bag to make it better. I don't know, have y'all ever felt that way? I mean, like, retail therapy is a thing. It is a thing. But nonetheless, I do not regret this decision. I'm so happy I have her. And yeah, things are looking up for me, so this might have been a little good luck charm. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, I leveled up my luxury collection this year with my first Chanel. Dang y'all, all my lighting is gone, but we're gonna finish. We're gonna pivot and move. But my next pair of shoes that I got this year, my next luxury purchase was a pair of beige Chanel heels. Now, I will put a picture of the shoes on the screen if you want to see them, if you actually want to see them. I will link the video where I haul them. I don't currently have them because I um because I'm having some issues with fashion file right now. Um they have my shoes, um, but they're not letting me return them, so I still have them. But I probably am going to try to resell them on my own. Um, but yes, I have those shoes and then and then my final purchase for this year are my Chanel platform sandals that I purchased from Keeks. They are a reseller here in Dallas. I did a whole video, a whole shopping vlog, so I will link them as well. These are my Chanel little, I don't know if you call them espadrilles. I don't think they're really espadrilles. They're like platform slides. But yeah, they're so cute. I am taking a small trip in a couple of weeks, so I might take them there. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't gotten to wear these yet, that's why the tag is still on it. So these are a 39. I'm actually a 39 and a half. So it's like they fit, but they like just fit. But I feel like if they were a 39 and a half, they'd be too big. So I don't know, I'm still debating on these, but I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure I'm keeping them. Y'all, I just love that it has like the white accent. Let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite luxury purchase from this year? As always, remember to be good to yourself and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.